This puzzle scares me a lot. On one hand, it looks very beautiful, but on the other hand, it requires 51 steps to solve it. The name of this puzzle is Chambur. It was designed by Andrew Crowell and Christoph Loya. This puzzle has three unique parts and a frame. The frame is 5x5x5. Five by five by five. And the object of the puzzle is to remove all parts from the frame and then put them back inside the frame. This puzzle requires 51 steps to remove parts and 51 more steps to put them all inside the frame. This puzzle was made by Pelican in Czech Republic. Two different kinds of wood were used to uh, make this puzzle, Mirbau and Pink Oak. And I like the matching texture of both types of wood. It makes it, uh, this puzzle look very beautiful. The only difference is in the color, since this piece is lighter color and this is darker color. It is pretty safe to say that you can watch the whole video, including the solution part, since it's gonna be difficult to remember all necessary steps and the sequence of these steps uh, to solve the puzzle. So I'm probably, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you. Unfortunately, no link for you today. This puzzle was sold out very quick at Pelican's website and I couldn't find it in any other puzzle uh, shops. That means that it is pretty safe for you to watch the whole video, including solution, since the chances that this puzzle is gonna be uh, on sale are very low. Probably you can find it later on eBay or other auction sites. So if you want to see my attempt to solve this puzzle, keep watching the video. So let's try to figure out the way how to solve it. 51 moves is not a joke. I'm gonna start my stopwatch and let's see what I can do. I can move this piece. And yeah, this is the only move I can do right now. What's gonna be next? I can move this part. And I can't move other parts. Okay, so far everything is correct. I don't want to fall into the trap from the very beginning. What is going to be the next one? Okay, next one goes this piece, but it moves also this piece. And if I move this piece, it goes with this on top as well. Okay, so maybe I have to try to count the moves. One, two, three. And 48 moves more. Now that's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna mess up this counting very quick. So let's see what's gonna be the next move. I can't move. This piece goes up. Ooh, all three parts are moving. Oh, this is tricky. This is already tricky. Let's see, maybe I can move just one piece. No, I don't think so. I can't... Oh, I can move these too. And also I can move these. Ooh, what I have to do? If I move only these two, what's gonna be the next move? Oh, okay. There are no other options. I have to move all three parts. Oh, this piece, I think that it goes down. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm completely forgetting about that there is another way down. So these two parts went down. And what's next? I still can't move this piece. Yeah, obviously now it's blocked by this piece. Then what's next? What else I can do? Oh, I can, I can move all three parts back. This is a tricky one. There's going to be a lot of maybe even false moves and that's going to be difficult to assemble everything back together. So this piece and this piece. Oh, this goes up and I can keep moving them. Oh, that feels like this piece is going out a lot. Maybe I can move this big piece back a little bit and move this up. No, it is not possible to move this up. And why? I have no idea why, but it feels like this piece 
have to go up one step. But I can, oh, I can probably move it right here. Ooh. And again, move all three parts. I think this move, when I move all three parts inside the frame, is going to be pretty common for this puzzle. So what's next? The moves are quite trickier. There is a lot going on inside. I hope I will be able to understand what was going inside when uh, the puzzle will be disassembled all the way. Huh, that's interesting. I've been able to fit the whole piece back inside. And at the same time, I can even rotate these two parts. Again, that's probably not legal at this point. Oh, but I can move this piece to the side. Okay. That might be an option which I am looking for. Maybe I can even move this piece right here. I don't know if it's going to give me anything good, but at least that looks kind of interesting. Oh, again, I've moved three parts at the same time. And this piece is now here. And oh, again, it feels like it is just one step from being removed. Just have to figure out this one step. And that's probably gonna be somewhere very close now. And if I will be able to move this piece out, actually I can move this piece to this gap and remove it. That is gonna be the way how it is supposed to be solved, I think. Oh, maybe this piece will go up. Um, I don't know what just happened. Probably this is not a good sign. Or it might be a good sign. It might be something interesting since probably somewhere at this point I will be able to move this part. Or not yet. Okay, I still have to move this piece up. Whew! That is tricky. That is really a tricky one. Hard to find correct steps. And I don't think that I can go all the way back to the start now. <laughs> Maybe I'm stuck with the wrong idea and I'm not going to be able to remove this piece through this hole. But so far this is the only option that I can see. I can probably rotate here, cheat a little bit, nope, not possible. But I have to switch places of some of the parts somehow. have no idea what to do with this piece, where to move it, how to move it. So if I could move it one step right now, that would be just amazing. But it is impossible to do at this point. Here it is also impossible to do because of this piece. I can probably try to move them like this. Oh, ooh, maybe, wow, finally, I found how to remove this piece, okay, and two more parts, two more parts, these are gonna be easy to solve, at least, I think so, let's see what I can do here, this goes here, this goes here, probably, yeah, okay, Ooh, okay, it took me 32 minutes to remove the parts. Now, what I have to do is to find how they are supposed to be inside. 
and I think that it's gonna be something like this. Um, yeah, probably. Oh, uh, no, 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 not like this. This piece is supposed to be a thing that's somehow different. This goes here, and this piece is gonna be between these two parts. So they're all gonna be like connected together in one shape, something like this. Yeah, now it looks like true. But I'm not gonna try to solve it back outside. And while I still remember which part was where, I'm gonna try to assemble them back straight inside the frame. Oh, that is a difficult one. That is a very difficult puzzle. So this was here. Now I have to align these parts in such a way that I'm going to be able to fit this piece. How to do that? How that was made? Probably something like this. Yeah, exactly like this. Now I have to move all parts and the most difficult part is going to be to put it all the way back inside and probably it's going to take me 20 to 30 minutes more. Let's see. Feels like I forgot all the moves and I don't know what to do now. So first of all, I have to move this piece around and stick the, it between this and this part. Or maybe it's gonna stay on one place, but I have to move two other parts around. So that's gonna be the trickiest part. How to do that? Now this is the way I removed the piece. Now I have to move it backwards and somehow to figure out the way how to move it. Okay, let's see. Ooh, something like this. Yeah, probably this is what I was looking for, but what's next? What is gonna be next? Ah, <laughs> I'm back to the place where I was able to remove the piece, but I don't want to go there. I want to go the opposite direction. How to do that? Ooh, I think that is something new. Okay, I have no idea how I found this move but it feels like I've made a little progress. It took me about 30 minutes, maybe even more, to figure out this move. Ooh, that is tough, very tough. So, okay, what's gonna be the next one? This went all the way down. Okay, I think that I'm on the right way. So next, I have to move this piece to the right. And that's gonna be possible to do. And now it feels like I'm very, very close to the final solve. I just have to align the parts in a correct way and that's it. The puzzle will be solved. I think this is the part where some puzzlers gonna grab a box of matches and make a fire. That was a joke, by the way. 
but I'm not gonna do that. I'm still gonna try to figure out the way how to solve the puzzle. Okay, I think that the issue here is just because the parts are too tight. And that's it. Since now, as you can see, the puzzle is solved. Okay, ah, that was quite tricky. Oh. Okay, that was really difficult. It took me a lot of time to solve this puzzle. The first part, the disassembling, was a little bit easier, but still very difficult. It took me a little bit more than 30 minutes to take it apart, but then I tried to assemble it. And that took me twice as much time. And probably the reason is that uh, the puzzle is too tight. It might be because this puzzle was sitting on my shelf for too long and some parts shrink a little bit in size. Some of them maybe become a little bit bigger because of humidity, I have no idea. But some of the moves were too tight and uh, I was stuck on these moves uh, like two or three times uh, when I was looking for a move for like 20 minutes. The reason was that the move was too tight and uh, I had to push a little bit more even though it felt like I'm almost gonna break the puzzle. But the result is that the puzzle is assembled and now it doesn't look like uh, too tight. Everything moves pretty nice and easy but during the uh, solve that was a little bit uh, tight. And that's it for today. This puzzle is solved. I have another one. Cyborg, uh, similar puzzle, three parts and a frame. If you want me to solve that puzzle as well, leave a comment below this video. And that's all. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell button and see you next time.